Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of our Call It Fo Football Picks. We move into week five. Unfortunately, the fat man could not be with me this week. Hopefully he'll be back for our NFL picks. But let's start off with the Big 12 matchup. The Oklahoma State Cowboys travel to West Virginia to take on the Mountaineers. Oklahoma State, 18 point favorites, and we're gonna lay those points. The West Virginia defense just cannot stop them. Yes, they had a good showing against the Sooners, but Oklahoma State is a far superior team, and I believe if Blake Bell had started that game for the Sooners, they would have blown out the Mountaineers. So lay the 18 points, take the Cowboys. We move into Northern Illinois taking on Purdue. Northern Illinois, three and a half point favorites. I don't really know why Northern Illinois isn't in the top 25. Jordan Lynch is one of the best players in college football, and I think that you'd be a fool not to Look at Purdue's recent success and think that they're a better team than they are. They've played well in those games, but that's not the true Purdue team. The Boilermakers are not that good. They are a bottom feeder in the Big Ten. They'll finish in the bottom four. So take the Huskies, lay the three and a half. We go to a battle of South Florida. The Miami Hurricanes, 19 point favorites coming off a massive 70 plus point win. Travel to South Florida, take on the Bulls, lay the 19 points. What have you seen from the Hurricanes to not make that bet? Uh, there, Duke Johnson is an absolute stud. I expect him to have a big game. So we move to another game featuring a Florida school. UCF, the Central Florida Knights host South Carolina Gamecocks. Gamecocks favored by touchdown. Lay those points. They are the far superior team. I just don't see how you can get enough offense from the Knights to compete with South Carolina in that defense. We go to potentially the best game of the weekend. A battle of two SEC teams, two of the top teams in that conference. LSU, the Tigers, coming off a big win against Auburn. Travel to Georgia to take on the ninth-ranked Bulldogs, who are three-point favorites. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I don't like betting with a few quarterbacks. I bet with the one in the bet pick before in Connor Shaw in South Carolina, but I'm not going to bet on Zat Mettenberger. I am going to take the Georgia Bulldogs minus three and take my chances with Aaron Murray. We go to our next game, another SEC matchup between top 25 ranked teams. Old Miss travels to Alabama to take on the number one ranked Crimson Tide. I'm going to lay the 14 and a half points with the Crimson Tide. I just don't think that Old Miss's explosive, talented freshman class can compete with juniors and seniors on the level of Alabama that have a lot of guys that will be drafted this year in the NFL, a lot of first round picks, a lot of talent, hard to beat this Nick Saban coach team. We go now to another SEC battle. 10th ranked Texas A&M travel to Arkansas to take on Brett Bielma and the Razorbacks. I'm going to lay the 15 points on A&M. I just don't see how the team that blew the, out the Razorbacks last year is going to not cover a 15 point spread with Johnny Manziel back. Now we go to another SEC battle. 19th ranked Gators without quarterback draft just girl for the rest of the year. Travel Kentucky to take on Stoops and the Wildcats. I'm going to take the 12 points and bet on the Wildcats. It's not like Driscoll was playing that well at quarterback this year so I just can't imagine a backup being that, being that superior to what Kentucky's offering. I'm going to take the 12 points and go wild with the Wildcats. Now we have Florida State minus 23 at Boston College. Boston College is far from a good football program. Lay the 23 points, take famous Jameis Winston, and see what he can do. I expect him to have another big game against a bad Florida State team. So we have to, to another one side ACC matchup. The Wake Forest Demon Deacons travel to Clemson to take on the Tigers. Minus 29 point favorites, take the Clemson Tigers. Taj Boyd's shown no reason why you wouldn't bet on him. I think that they're far superior. Sammy Watkins will have a big game. Wake Forest and Boston College, very similar in the fact that neither is a very good football program. Next up, we head to the Pac-10 for a few, few excuse me, Pac-12 for a few games. Starting with the Arizona Wildcats traveling to Washington to take on Steve Starkazian and the Huskies. The 16 ranked Huskies are nine and a half point favorites, but I am going to take the Wildcats. I think that this Wildcat team, under Rich Rodriguez, is an explosive offense. Question marks on the defense, but I'm going to take the nine and a half points. I don't think they lose by double digits. We go now to Stanford, the fifth ranked team, goes on the nation to take and gives 18 and a half points going up to take on Mike Leach and the Washington State Cougars after. 
Stanford really was one. It was a one-sided victory against Arizona State. The score was a bit closer than the game really was. I'm gonna take Stanford in the minus 18 and a half. Though, if there was a game that for upset potential upset of the week, I would look at Washington State, but I just don't see it happening. I'll take the 18 and a half. I'll give the 18 and a half points. We go now to USC taking on Arizona State. Arizona State really got lucky against Wisconsin two weeks ago. Beat badly by Stanford, but I'm going to take them against the mess that is USC. I think we're going to see a lot more fire lane Kiffin signs and parking lots and all that. Fire lanes modifications. Lay the four points. Take the Arizona State Sun Devils. As we go now to Cal and Oregon, it's really hard to make a line too high for Oregon. I look at this line now and I don't know if I really like what my initial thought were, which is taking Oregon and lay the 36 points, but I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to go with it and say Oregon minus 36. As we go now to two of the better games of the weekend, we got a 14 ranked Oklahoma traveling to South Bend, Indiana to take on the number 22 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Oklahoma, three and a half point favorites. I'm going to take them. I really like Blake Bell. I think that Notre Dame seems to have peaked and it's sort of plateaued and not improved in the recent weeks. So I'm going to take the Sooners to win this one by four. Now we have a matchup between potentially two of the best teams in the Big Ten. Number 24, Wisconsin, and head coach Gary Anderson head to Columbus to take on the fourth-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Braxton Miller supposed to be back for this game. We'll see how much he actually plays or if it will be gotten again. They're six-and-a-half-point favorites. I'm going to give those six-and-a-half points. I think they win by a touchdown. So take the Buckeyes. And those are my picks for Week 5 and the NCAA football season. Thanks for watching.